I had a huge challenge to work on a picture called Grand Prix. And we had an editor came on from America and he got fired the first week that I, I was on because it was an extraordinarily complicated picture. It was, from one thing, it was shot in 70 mil and the, uh, or 65 mil and the 70 mil, it was for a 70 mil presentation, 65 neg. And Technicolor over here, the first day's rushes, they had uh, 10 cameras all turning over on a race and Technicolor got all these rushes back and of course he couldn't possibly process them. So Frankenheimer called me, I was the contact in England at that time, his assistant, you know, trying to organize sinking the rushes. And uh, the sound came out, we had all the sound ready, but no picture because it all had to be printed down from the 65 onto 35. And then it all had to be numbered. And, and we had to have a numbering system set up so that we could then cut back because we didn't have key numbers on it. The print down from the 65 didn't have key numbers on it, on the print we've got, so we had to number it. Frankenheimer called me and said, well, the rush is like, and I said, I've only seen one roll because that's all that Technicolor had done. So he, he hit the roof and said, this is no good. And the production supervisor, nothing to do with me, I couldn't do anything about it. But anyhow, they did um, start processing and then when all this stuff came in and they, because it was expensive, they had black and white prints. We can't tell what colour the cars are in long shots, so we then had to go through and print the whole bloody lot again in colour. So, believe it or not, I had to go into the neg rooms because they couldn't match the picture. And I spent probably, I don't know, six weeks in the labs trying to find film, and they're all petrified of handling film. I couldn't care less. I've been used to handling it, a pair of white gloves. <laughs> Didn't worry me. So that was an interesting, and I have to say, it won the editing Oscar and it won the sound Oscar. And I didn't get an Oscar because I wasn't an editor, but I mean, it was a privilege to be on that picture. And it still stands out, it's still a bloody good picture today. I think it's something that, that younger people don't appreciate too much is the physicality of working with actual film. Oh, you sure, know? the weight of it, the weight film was terribly heavy. Yeah. You know, to carry a cutting copy, you couldn't, you could, you couldn't carry, well, you could carry 12 cans, which is a huge amount. And then, of course, the sound's also on, on 35. It was very, very different, not a little micro stick where you've got everything today. Mm, yeah, exactly. exactly. No, it's, it's just, it just occurs to me that that's a part of the history that gets kind of lost in the romanticism of film is, is the actual physical, you know, physical work. Oh, yeah, the handling, the handling of it. I mean, you, when you yeah. cut a film, I mean, I cut a lot of films. And, and, and the smell of it and, and, and yeah. how, you, how you can tell the base from the emulsion by actually kissing it. And that's how yeah. you find out which, which way is which, which, which I love. I love when I first started, we had library materials, nitrate, which was very, very good. I used to smoke a pipe. <laughs> they, thought, they thought it was very funny to break up little bits of this and lift the dottle out of my pipe and put it inside so that when I'd light it, it would just... <laughs>